Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Friday, June 2nd, and today I'd once again like to talk about the Sacred Heart of our Lord. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father this month, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So, dear friends, we are within the devotional month of the Sacred Heart. And, of course, today is a First Friday. Now, as soon as I say that, some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And some of you are thinking, well, okay, well, First Friday of the month. Okay, sure, yesterday was First Thursday and so on. Like, what, what, what do you mean? Well, the First Friday of every month is particularly devoted to the Sacred Heart of our Lord. That was at his request through apparitions to St. Mark and Mary Alacoque. The Sacred Heart of Our Lord asks that every first Friday of the month, the church pause and reflect upon the love and the mercy, reflect upon his sacred heart. And so every first Friday as Catholics, we should pause in some form and make sure that we are looking at the sacred heart and reminding ourselves how much God loves us. I think it's great that the sacred heart is saying, look, at the very beginning of every month on that first Friday, pause and remember my love. Now, in addition to that, the sacred heart said that if we do that for nine consecutive first Fridays, You will bless us with powerful promises in the spiritual life. Now, these promises include the graces of final perseverance, a happy home, perseverance in the faith, the grace of the sacraments in our last hours, and so on. But as I talk about the promises of the Sacred Heart, I want to remind us that in the spiritual life, promises are different than in the midst of our secular world. So in a secular world, the promise is, I give you this, you give me that. It's very quid pro quo. But in the spiritual life, it's different. A promise in the spiritual life is similar to if I wanted to learn to play the piano and I have a piano teacher and they say, if you practice every day, you'll become a good pianist. And that's the way in which a spiritual promise is approached. We receive a promise if we live the life, if we practice every day, then the promise will be fulfilled. So there's no mercantile approach. There's no quid pro quo in a spiritual promise. But the Sacred Heart gave us these promises because he wants us to draw close to him. We have a world that tells us that we're the sum total of our sins, that we're not worth much. We're told by the world that we have to earn love or manipulate people to get love. That's just fallenness, fallenness, and more fallenness. The Sacred Heart of our Lord reminds us, no, love is unconditional. Love serves the good within the other. Love is about giving, not receiving. And of course, today on this first Friday, we are especially called to look at that Sacred Heart and remind ourselves of His love for each of us. So look at the Sacred Heart, dear friends. In the midst of the world that tells you, tells all of us that we're not worth much, we have to earn things, earn love? No, abandon all that, smash those idols. And today, look at the Sacred Heart and let's all know how much God tremendously loves us. I want to thank you for joining me today, dear friends. I want to encourage you to keep fighting the good fight. And of course, remember that you can subscribe to The Morning Offering and receive spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox every day by subscribing to morningoffering.com. God bless you. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.